Welcome back sa Math Husay General Math Tutorial. Sa video ng ito, pag-uusapan natin kung paano mag-graph ng inverse function. Let's start. Alam natin na ang graph of the inverse function is just the reflection of the graph of the original function. At ang axis of symmetry is the line y equals x. In this video, mahati ang ating examples sa tatlong cases. We will sketch the graph of the inverse function given, una, kung given ay table of values, pangalawa, kung ang given ay just a function, and lastly, we will try to sketch the graph of the given function, inverse function, kapag given yung graph ng function. Let's start! Example number 1. Given the table of values of the function f, graph the function and its inverse. So, in this case, sa example na ito, ang given ay table of values. So, ang una natin gagawin ay i-sketch natin yung graph ng f of x. So, to sketch this, una, we have the ordered pair negative 5 and negative 4. So, negative 5 and negative 4, yan na. Then, negative 4 and 1. Then, followed by negative 3 and 2. Then, negative 2 and 5. So, we connect these points and this is the graph of the function f of x. Alam natin na ang graph of the inverse function is just a reflection of the original function na f of x. At yung axis of symmetry natin ay at y equals x. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin is to get the inverse function nitong given table of values. So ang inverse of the function f of x ay ito na. Anong ginawa natin? Take note that the given is table of values. So, in-interchange lang natin ang set of y values sa set of x values. So, in this case, di ba, ang set of x values natin sa original function ay negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. So, ito nga yung set of x values natin. Kapag kukunin natin ang inverse, magiging set of y values na siya. So, kaya naging set of y values siya sa ating inverse function. So, ganun lang kadali maghanap ng inverse function given the table of values. So, given the inverse function represented through the table of values, pwede na natin sketch yung graph ng inverse function. So, una, negative 4 and negative 5. So, ito yung point. So, we plot negative 1 and negative 4. Then, 2 and 3. Then, 5 and negative 2. So, we connect these points. Then, we have the graph of the inverse function. So, ito na yung graph ng ating inverse function. Ganun lang siya kadaling mag-graph ng inverse function given the table of values. Let's take another example. Example number 2. Graph the function and its inverse. Give the equation for the inverse of the given function f of x equals 2x plus 5. So, sa example na ito, ang given ay function. So, paano natin i-sketch yung graph ng inverse function na ito? So, una, ang gagawin natin since ay, ang given ay function, so we have to construct table of values first. Kasi mas madaling mag-sketch ng graph ng inverse function kapag meron na tayong table of values ng original na function. So, in this case, ang set of x values na pinili ko ay negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So, we complete this table of values by evaluating our set of x values. Una, kapag ang x is equal to negative 2, isa substitute natin siya sa original function. So, 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4, plus 5, that will be 1. Now, if we evaluate negative 1 sa ating f of x, y will be 3. 
Now, if x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 5, your y will be 5. And if x is equal to 1, your y will be 7. And if x is equal to 2, your y will be 9. So, dahil meron na tayong ta table of values for our function f of x, ang gagawin natin ay hahanapin naman natin ngayon yung inverse function ng f of x algebraically. Kasi, di ba, hinihingi sa atin yung equation ng inverse function. So, take note, nag exist ang inverse function ng f of x dahil ang given function na f of x ay 1 to 1. So, in the previous video, alam natin kung paano maghanap ng inverse function algebraically. So, we replace f of x by y. So, we have y equals 2x plus 5. So, in this case, i-interchange natin ang x and y variables. So, we have x is equal to 2y plus 5. So, since we want to solve for the new value of y, so, mag a tayo ng negative 5 sa both sides of the equation. Kaya ang nangyari, we have x minus 5 equals 2y. So, solving for new values of y, again, divide both sides by 2, then we have y is equal to x minus 5 all over 2. So, the inverse of the given function f of x equals 2x plus 5 i x minus 5 all over 2. So, nakuha na natin ang inverse function. So, paano natin i-sketch ngayon yung graph ng inverse function? So, take note, meron na tayong table of values ng original function f of x. So, ang gagawin ko na lang ay babalik na rin ko na lang ang ating set of x and y values. So, ang function natin ay f of x. So, ang inverse niya ay x minus 5 over 2. So, kung gagawa pa tayo ng table of values, so, mas mainam na balik na rin na lang natin yung ating original na table of values. So, we have yung x values natin will be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung y values ng original function. And yung y values ng inverse function ay yung x values ng ating original na function. So, in this case, pwede na tayong mag-sketch ng graph ng function and its inverse function. So, una natin i-graph yung original function na f of x. So, we plot the points, negative 2 and 1, then negative 1 and 3, then 0 and 5, then 1 and 7, and last, yung ordered pair na 2 and 9. So, we connect these points, and this will be the graph of the function f of x equals 2x plus 5. Now, take note, ang inverse function, ang graph nito ay magre-reflect dapat sa given na line na y equals x. So, we plot the points now ng ating inverse function. Una is 1 and negative 2, then 3 and negative 1, then followed by 5 and 0, then 7, 7 and 1, and lastly, 9 and 2. Now, we connect these points and we have this graph of the inverse function, which is x minus 5 over 2. So, ganun lang kadaling mag-graph ng inverse function given ang original na function f of x. Claro. Again, let me reiterate na kapag given ang function, ang una nyong gagawin ay mag-construct kayo ng table of values ng original na function. Then, next is find the equation of the inverse function algebraically. And, ang gagawin nyo na lastly is you construct table of values para sa inyong inverse function. Pero mas mainam na balik na rin nyo na lang yung x and y values ng original function. And, don't forget to plot the points. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Paano naman tayo mag-graph ng inverse function given yung graph ng mismong function na f of x? So, we have example number 3. Sketch the graph of the inverse 
of a function given itong graph ng function f of x. So, ang gagawin natin una is we construct table of values based on the graph of f of x. So, kung mapapansin niyo, meron tayong set of ordered pairs na nakaplot. So, bale, 4 points lang ito. So, ang una nating set of ordered pairs ay negative 3 and 4, negative 2 and 2, 2 and 1, and 3 and negative 1. So, kukunin lang natin lahat ng x values. So, ang x values natin ay negative 3. So, ang partner niya na y value ay 4. So, kaya yan 3 and 4. Now, we have negative 2, then 2. Sa kabila naman, we have 2 and positive 1. And last points na ating nakagraph naka dyan ay 3 and negative 1. So, mabilis lang nating mahanap ang inverse function ng given na itong function na ito kasi meron tayong table of values. So, given the table of values, ang gagawin natin ay we get the inverse of the function. So, given yung table of values natin, again, babalik na rin lang natin yung set of x and y values natin. So, we have this table of values na kung saan yung set of x values natin sa inverse function ay yung y values ng ating original function. And, yung set of y values ng ating inverse function ay yung ating x values kanina sa original na function. So, from here, we can plot these points and we can sketch the graph of the inverse function ng f of x. So, una natin ipa-plot ang 4 and negative 3, then 2 and negative 2, then followed by 1 and 2, and lastly, negative 1 and positive 3. So, we connect these points. So, the graph will look like this. Ito yung graph ng inverse function. So, again, kung makikita nyo, yung graph na, ng inverse function is just a reflection of the original graph ng function na f of x. Na kung saan, nag, ang axis of symmetry ay at line y equals x. So, ganun lang kadali mag-sketch ng inverse function given yung graph ng original function na f of x. Let's take the last example. How do you graph the inverse function with domain restriction? Tulad ng example number 4. Sketch the graph in its inverse. f of x equals x squared minus 3 with your domain restriction na kung saan yung x must be greater than or equal to 0. Kung ating igagraph yung function f of x equals x squared minus 3, the graph will look like this. And we know that quadratic functions are not one-to-one -one function, right? So, hindi mag exist yung kanyang inverse function. So, in this case, ang ginagawa natin is we restrict the domain. So, to sketch the graph of the inverse of the function f of x equals x squared minus 3 with domain restriction at x greater than or equal to 0, so, magkoconstruct muna tayo ng table of values. So, yung table of values natin, yung x values natin, magsisimula sa 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So, in this case, pinili ko lang tong apat. So, basta magsisimula siya dapat sa 0, 1, 2, 3 dahil meron tayong domain restriction. Kasi ang sabi, the x value must be greater than or equal to 0. So, magsisimula na tayo sa 0. Now, to find the y values ng ating original na function na f of x, isa substitute lang natin nitong x values sa ating original na function. So, when x is equal to 0, so 0 squared minus 3, y will be negative 3. Now, when x is 1, 1 squared minus 3, the y value will be negative 2. When x is 2, y is 1. And when x is 3, your y is 6. So, from here, meron na tayong table of values ng ating function na f of x. So, again, 
dahil restricted yung ating domain, this will be one-to-one -one function na. So, we can find the inverse function of this. So, ang gagawin natin, babalik na rin lang natin yung set of x and y values. So, we have this table of values ng ating inverse function. So, from here, we will sketch the graph. Again, gaya lang sinabi ko kanina, yung axis of symmetry natin will always be at y equals x. So, kaya nakikita nyo yung imaginary line na yan. So, we will sketch first the graph of the f of x with domain restriction at x greater than or equal to 0. So, ang unang points ay 0 and negative 3. Then, next is 1 and negative 2. Then, 2 and 1. Then, Lastly, 3 and 6. Sorry kung di masyadong perfectly plotted yung ating points dahil uh, hindi ko gamit yung aking GeoGebra. So, now we connect these points. So, the graph of the function f of x equals x squared minus 3 with the main restriction at x greater than or equal to 0 will look like this. Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina. This time, we will sketch the graph of the inverse function. So, we have negative 3, 0, negative 2, 1, 1, 2, and 6, 3. So, we connect these points. So, the graph of the inverse function ng f of x equals x squared minus 3 will look like this. So, this is how you graph the inverse function with domain restriction. Please pause the video and try to graph the function f and its inverse. Then determine whether the inverse f is a function. If you're done, you can type your answers on the comment section. Kung nakatulong ang math husay math tutorial na mas maintindihan niyo ang proseso kung paano maggraph ng inverse function, give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, ang sekreto para maging mathusay, matuto, at mag-ensayo. Panoorin ang susunod na episode at matutong maghanap ng domain and range ng inverse function. Bye!